What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to fix this error that you could be getting with the new world. Talking about connection registration did not arrive in time, uh, followed by a long error message. How do you fix this? Well, it's relatively simple. First of all, I'll start off this video by saying this is a widespread issue affecting a lot of people. In fact, I'm just trying to get through the tutorial and I can't do that. This is something that will be patched in the future and it may not be you that's at fault here. It could be your server that you're trying to connect to or anything in between. This is something that's going to be fixed over time. But for now, all we can do is try different fixes. And if it doesn't work, well, try a different server. Otherwise, just accept that this game is buggy as is. So what can we do to fix this? Well, first of all, the most obvious is quit the game and simply try and restart it and see if you're able to join. Let's try that now. So, of course, restarting my game made that work properly. But let's assume that that didn't work. What else can we try? Well, from what I've heard, this has to do with your system clock being out of sync with the server. There's a couple of different things that we can try, though the most simple solution is clicking the time in your start bar, then date and time settings. You can get here through the settings window and other places if you're using Windows 11. Just come to the date and time screen here. What you need to do is see set time automatically. Turn this off, then click change under set the date and time manually, change it to whatever else, change, and then come back to set time automatically and turn this on. Upon doing so, your computer will then sync. You can, of course, just turn this off and on. But for me, changing the time down here usually works a bit better. Also, you have a sync now button here that should do the same, though this doesn't always work for me. Anyways, after changing and resyncing your time here, simply fire up the game and try and join your server again or whatever you were busy doing. That should fix things properly. Another thing you can try and do is restart the Windows time service. Hold start and press R. Then enter services.msc and hit enter. You can also hit control shift escape to bring up the task manager. Head across to services and click open services down here. Inside of here, we'll sort by name. We'll click anywhere on the list and type in Windows or just W to jump down to Windows. We'll be looking for Windows time. When you see this, right click and then click restart. Upon doing so, the Windows time service will restart and hopefully resynchronize with the internet. Upon doing so, things should hopefully be fixed when you fire up the game and see if it works. However, if it's not, the last thing that we can try that sometimes works is flushing your DNS on your computer and resetting your network connection. In order to do so, press start, type in CMD, and then over command prompt, click run as administrator. Upon doing so, in here we'll be running different commands. IP config space forward slash flash DNS. Hit enter, then we'll try IP config slash register DNS. Hit enter, then IP config forward slash release. Hit enter, and IP config renew. Hit enter. Upon running all of those commands, we'll also try net sh winsock reset as such. You'll find all of these in the description down below. After hitting enter, after entering each of these commands, you should have hopefully reset your network connection on your computer and you should be able to connect to the server once again. Assuming it still doesn't work, try restarting your PC and your internet connection as well as every router in between your outside router going to the internet and your computer to try and get rid of all issues that you could be having. Assuming that you're still having issues at this point, you can probably safely assume it's an issue with the game and or the server that you're trying to play on. Try a different server, and if you're still experiencing an issue, it could just be the game itself and something that needs time to be fixed. You can also try disabling your firewall on your computer and or your antivirus. That may help. And finally, you can try running the game as admin. As far as I understand, the only real way to do this is running Steam as admin, and hopefully the game should run as admin as well, allowing you to fix things. But that's really all we can try here. There's not too much luck you can have. It's a new game and there will be issues with it, of course. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully we're able to fix your issue. Otherwise, I wish you luck in patience. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.